Welcome, Dr. Mandel here. This video is going to be a great video for you, your loved ones and family. This is really going to make great changes when it comes to keeping your heart, your cardiovascular system healthy. These foods are going to help open up the arteries, help unclog arteries, help send more blood circulation throughout the entire body to all the cells, tissues, organs, and glands to keep you healthy. So let's get to it. Eating fatty fish at least two times a week, such as salmon, mackerel, herring, sardines, or even tuna, will help beat heart disease and heart attacks. Those omega-3s will decrease the bad fat in your blood, those high triglyceride levels. It will reduce the arterial plaque buildup, and it will also lower high blood pressure. Nuts are exceptionally good for your heart and blood vessels. It's the monounsaturated fats that will reduce the total cholesterol as well as the bad cholesterol, which are your LDLs. Nuts are rich in arginine, an amino acid, to make a molecule called nitric oxide, which relaxes constricted blood vessels and eases the blood flow. In nitric oxide, vasodilates dilates the arteries. That means more blood can come in with less resistance. It makes it so much easier on the heart. And at the same token, all that excessive blood is getting to all the cells of your body, keeping them happy. Turmeric is one of nature's most powerful anti-inflammatories due to a compound called curcumin. This not only reduces arterial inflammation, but this can reduce placking by up to 26% within those blood vessels. The curcumin has potent antioxidants that help neutralize those free radicals, which prevents cellular damage and degeneration. It also boosts your body's own production of antioxidant enzymes. Turmeric is also linked to reducing oxidative stress on vascular tissues that can increase the risk of chronic disease. Now, green tea is one of the most powerful antioxidants of any food in the planet. It's called epigallocatechin gallate. And this is known to help break up plaques that are linked to dangerous blockages that can lead to heart attack and stroke. And this will help prevent atherosclerosis, which is that buildup of plaque in those arteries. And if you're also looking to shed those pounds, this will also boost your metabolism, helping to make it easier to achieve and maintain that healthy weight. Watermelon contains L-citrulline, and this also boosts nitric oxide production. This will help the arteries relax and work better, helping to improve blood flow throughout the body and it will also significantly lower the risk of heart disease. Spinach is loaded with all the right things. Spinach will also be a great contribution to your health. The potassium and fiber found in spinach helps lower blood pressure and prevents the arteries from getting blocked. The fiber will also lower the bad cholesterol levels. Spinach is filled with lutein, as this helps cut inflammation, which prevents clogging of those arteries. One of my favorite fruits, yes, it's a fruit, is the old avocado. It's filled with monounsaturated fatty acids, and it is excellent for your cardiovascular system. And numerous studies show that this will lower the bad low-density lipoproteins and raise the good high-density lipoprotein cholesterol. This will also help sustain normal, healthy glucose and insulin levels. Avocados are high in antioxidants, including lutein and zeaxanthin, and these nutrients are also very important for eye health as it lowers the risk of macular degeneration and cataracts. There is no doubt that cold press, extra virgin olive oil, can do miracles for your heart and blood vessels. Olive oil will increase your healthy fats, and this will make you feel satiated where you won't overeat. Studies show that olive oil can bring down the danger of having a heart attack by up to 41%. Olive oil is the principal source of fat in the Mediterranean diet. It has potent antioxidants called polyphenols, which slows down the progression of atherosclerosis, which is the narrowing of the arteries because of cholesterol and inflammatory cell accumulation. Extra virgin olive oil is incredibly healthy, and it's great for your heart, your joints, your brain, and so much more. Asparagus is like the warrior against elevated cholesterol. It helps anticipate stopping up of the veins and blood vessel inflammation. 
and it can get rid of clots that are already present in the arteries. This is because asparagus is full of fiber and minerals that can prevent cardiovascular illness. Pomegranate has phytochemicals that act as antioxidants to protect the lining of the arteries against damage. Pomegranates will also stimulate the body's production of nitric oxide, which helps keep your blood flowing and your arteries open. Studies show that this can keep the arteries from becoming stiff and thick. It may also slow down the growth of plaque and buildup of cholesterol in those arteries. Pomegranate is an excellent aid for your immunity. It helps fight type 2 diabetes. It keeps your blood pressure in check. It helps your digestion and makes your skin glow. One of my favorite spices is cayenne pepper or chili pepper. It's the capsaicin that can do the magic for your blood vessels. This will help increase circulation, improve the blood vessel strength, and reduce plaque buildup in those arteries. The capsaicin will help dampen that inflammation, and inflammation is what leads to these placking of those arteries. In addition, cayenne is also very effective for treating cold and flu symptoms, as it will also break up mucus congestion. And there's nothing like berries raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. They're loaded with fiber. They're low on the glycemic index. They will not spike insulin or glucose levels. They're packed with antioxidants. They'll lower bad cholesterol and triglycerides. These berries are particularly rich in the chemical compounds called anthocyanins. And research suggests that anthocyanins have several effects on the body. They lower the blood pressure and they make the blood vessels more elastic. These berries will also reduce inflammation by lowering the inflammatory chemicals in the blood, such as C-reactive protein. And last but not least, also one of my favorites, is the old garlic. We know what garlic can do for our arteries. It can do magic. It's rich in antioxidants, such as vitamin C and E. It will remove those free radicals. When the cells absorb oxygen from the body, the chemical reaction releases byproducts which can damage those healthy cells. And those free radicals is what garlic removes. It reduces the bad LDL cholesterol. It helps widen the blood vessels. It improves blood circulation and prevents hardening of those arteries. Remember that a healthy body starts in the kitchen. You must cut out those sugars. Those excessive sugars are inflammatory, those will turn into excessive fat and triglycerides, which is laid into the arteries, which will cause clogging and lead to potential problems. Exercise is so important. And make sure that you're drinking lots of water and getting enough sleep. But, but my little trick is that if you're eating any kind of sugars, eat it in the whole state. With the fiber, the fiber is the key. The fiber will lower insulin resistance. It will lower type 2 diabetes. It will really give you lots of energy. You won't get that crash because it will sustain normal insulin levels. Too much insulin means too much fat because that's when visceral fat gets stored in your belly, and that is very dangerous. So make sure you're getting enough sleep, spending some time doing exercise a few times a week, drinking lots of water, and keeping a positive mental attitude. I believe you will see great results. Please share this with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because there will be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.